at the end of all of this, he says, عَلَّمَهُ الْبَيَانِ By the way, the Qur'an came down in clear, beautiful Arabic speech. And if human being, the, the forgetful human being that is looking for mercy and compassion, wants to benefit from this Qur'an, well, this Qur'an came in beautiful speech, in perfect speech. So to learn, if you're, if you're going to take a class, like you're going to take accounting 201 or 301 or something, you know, you better learn the language of accounting 101, as the accountants are smiling. I should have mentioned programming, or, you know, so, right? You have to know the language of what you're going to study. So to make the human being capable, capable of benefiting from this book, Allah said He even taught him, the human being, He taught him Al-Bayan. Al-Bayan means the ability to speak clearly, to understand speech, to communicate, right? Allah gave us that ability. This thing that we have, the ability to speak, Allah says, Allamahu. I'll share a few reflections with that and I'm done, inshaAllah ta'ala, pretty much. Or almost. Okay. So here, here's what I want to share with you. The first thing. Didn't Allah say He taught the Quran? He said that, right? And what word did He use in Arabic? Allama. For teaching the Quran, He used Allama. When He taught the human being speech, what word did He use again? Allamahu al bayan. Allama came up again or no? You know what this teaches us? Not only is Allah, one of His amazing mercies that He's the teacher of Qur'an, He is also the teacher of language. And He didn't say Al-Arabiya, Allamahu Al-Arabiya. He said Allamahu Al-Bayan. What does that mean? Which language? All languages. And because of that, we have to have respect for all languages. We should not be people that make fun of other people's languages. We should not say English is the language of the kuffar. I've heard a khutbah like that not too long ago. I was, I was listening to an Arabic uh, uh, YouTube video and the, the khatib was very fired up. لا تتعلموا لغة جورج بوش وتعلموا لغة نبي لا Dude, <laughs> don't learn the language of George Bush. No man, it's... It, you know, that's not, that's not how it works. Allah taught all language. He honored all languages. But then of all of these languages Allah taught, because in the end, Adam salam was taught speech by Allah. And all the languages are byproducts of what Adam salam himself was taught. So in the end, the credit goes back to Allah. Whether it's Korean or Thai or Punjabi or Bangla, it doesn't matter. The credit goes back to Allah. But of all of these languages, Allah chose one and honored them above them all. That does not mean the others are not, not to be respected. The other thing that we learn from this ayah, which is remarkable is, the, the ability of you and I to speak is an honor from Allah which is being compared to the honor of teaching, teaching what? The Qur'an, which means we should respect our tongue. We should say things knowing that this, is a, this gift is an honor from Allah. It should not be used for filthy, vile, low things. It should be used for high things. You should do justice to what Allah has given you. And if someone uses this tongue that Allah gave for such a high purpose, and uses it for filthy language, and for dirty jokes all the time, and that's all that comes out of their mouth, then this is an insult to what Allah gave inside this mouth. This tongue was given so you can recite Qur'an. Allam <laughs> al-Qur'an. Then Allamahu al-Bayan came later. You know? It's an amazing thing to reflect upon, that our language would go through transformation if we appreciated what it is that we have, what it is that Allah has given us in our mouths. عَلَّمَهُ الْبَيَانِ 